not good. It's our agenda review meeting, uh, but I'll call it order. Let's do a pledge and then we'll get into it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let the record show that the commission is here with the exception of Commissioner Sukup to ask to be excused. Uh, I could give you information, but he's going to be notified by city manager in one of to come up and couldn't be here. And the uh, city attorney and city manager are here. Uh, Ms. Shane, you got anything you want to bring up before we get going? You all have a copy of an ordinance. I guess there was a date here on the ordinance, so that's the, that's the ordinance. No, no changes other than the date in it. So you don't really have to review it except for things that's well, not correct. Yeah. yeah, actually, yes, the ordinance, um, it changes the effective date. And it has, normally ours are effective immediately upon enactment. Um, but at the request of the applicant, we changed it that um, the ordinance would take effect upon the signing by the property owner of the development agreement associated with this ordinance and the recording of such development agreement among the public records of Volusia County. And if the development agreement has not been signed and recorded within 60 calendar days after the second reading of the ordinance, this ordinance shall be null and void and shall never become effective. That's the change. Well, that's in section five. Section five. Yeah, it's highlighted. It's highlighted. It's highlighted. It's highlighted. It's highlighted. I see it and read it. It was requested by the applicant, and it's also good for the city in that we won't have a situation where we would have rezoned it, and then if they didn't sign the development agreement. Um, We're pre approving it. As long as they follow, as long as they get it signed by the Exactly. Exactly. It is, it, it's, well, you can't do a reverter clause in an ordinance, so it has the effect of that. If we could do one, it, you can't unzone something easily, but you can postpone the time so that it goes into effect. So the zone doesn't go through unless the agreement is signed. Correct. Or no Correct. And recently we've had numerous... Well, you're our attorney. Legal. Legal. It, it, is, is it is legal. It's then fine. Not said. Okay. Ms. Shane, do you have anything else? No. Move on? Nope. Okay. Uh, minutes. Public forum. Uh, item number 9A. Off street parking. Uh, the, I guess it is a request to table up. Well, I was going to say, I was going to ask to pull it up. Yeah. Well, the table up. I have some questions on that. Well, um, well, I, I believe there are members of the public, according to the email, that want to come tonight and speak regarding that. Yeah, so they are. I think well, that we, they, we're still going to have to allow them to yeah, speak. Right, yeah, absolutely. I did email I'll, the man that emailed us. I did email the man that emailed us this morning to tell him it was being tabled. So. I don't know if they'll come or not. Okay, if they show up and, and, and we'll, yeah. we'll give them an opportunity to speak on the record concerning it. But some of what I tried to read in here and some of the, the background, I can understand their confusion with it, but I, when I went back and read the parking thing, I think it's best though to let staff give us some more meaningful I would like to go forward and move forward. We need to really discuss this. Yes. That's what I'm saying. There was like, to do that discussion. Seriously we, discuss. Even we, what our current yeah. ordinance says to me is unacceptable. Yeah. So, I mean, well, that's that, what I'm saying. So, everybody's okay with uh, yeah. the yeah. staff's yeah. recommendation to postpone it until we get some more information. Yeah. All right. Item number B is a uh, freestanding emergency room. Exactly what uh, we talked about. We talked about. Yeah. So, C is a petition to vacate portions of former real line Graved Avenue. The, the right of way. Uh, this is mostly administrative, isn't it? Yes, yes it right is. Away. Yes, it vacation. is. Yeah. Anybody got questions on C? All right, D is a uh, joint participation agreement between the Florida Department of Transportation 
and the city of Deltona. This is a beautification. The only question I had in this is every time we get involved in one of these, the city ends up taking biting off more than it can chew. Are we really certain that we can, with, with the money appropriated, that we can maintain this over a long period of time? Well, this is just for the capital investment. We will have to budget for the maintenance of it, but we are part of the design, so we will design it so that um, the maintenance costs are within our budgetary parameters. Okay, I understand that, but once we put the money out there and we take this and we decide that we're going to take the money and we're going to take care of it, we got to maintain it from then on. That cost could be astronomical. Well, I remember what the costs were when we dealt with Orange City, Deberry, and Deltona originally on I-4 interchange. But I think when we did that one, they just planted some trees that never should have been planted. I mean, if you do it right, you're not going to have a huge amount. I mean, the cost is still going to be there to do some mowing. I, 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 I mean, I don't want to debate it. I'm just saying you're, you're well aware of the long-term costs involved in this. I appreciate what we're trying to do, but we bought it once we, we take their money and start doing it. We're going to have, we're going to, have to budget. I, I mean, if we want to try to beautify the city, yeah. those are our gateways. And why would we turn down the, this kind of these kind of dollars? I mean, there's always a cost involved to maintain things. And if that's going to hamstring us from ever doing anything to beautify the city, shut it down. I mean, you have to pay we to can pay keep the it up. We can pay the county two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year for that library and not get any maintenance. We can find the money to make the interchanges look nice. Okay. I thought the amphitheater were beautiful the other night. I had oh. to play devil's advocate and point it out to you. you didn't I, see I lived through the issue when we had the agreement with D. Barry Saxon and 472 years ago when the county was in charge. I like the idea of we're going to be in charge of what goes in there as well as how to maintain it, so we'll take a little better care. Uh, Commissioner, what are you? What's that? What, what are you doing? Hey. Commissioner. Oh, we're in the public meeting. Okay. Well, there was a sharing of picture. Well, sure. I went when I was everywhere. dark. Yeah. Because it was right where people were sitting. Okay. Where people were sitting. Okay, she was saying it looked really good. For those of you in the audience, it's a picture of a crack in a concrete at the amphitheater. Thousand ants, which are calling all the ants. The ants so are nothing. everywhere right now at this time. They didn't, they they didn't have the spray right. down or anything. Really New technology. Ma'am, we can put that thing away. Ants. Okay, okay. moving right along. Item number E. D. Uh, e. Annual e. action plan, uh, community center block grant planning. Uh, we, I guess we talked about this. We've seen this in the past. This is the actual approval. Acceptance of the grant awards and recommendations. One question. Um, yes, ma'am. Were we going to talk about adding that extra money to this? Why did they not get it? That's part it's of on the agenda. agenda. So that's going to be that's all the budget, with that. Not, Good. Not but but it's also as part, part of the agenda session. item. Yeah. Yeah. You see. Okay. Yeah. That's what we make okay. sure that that's all. Yeah, yeah, you have it at the bottom of the. Mm -hmm. okay. Everybody has it. Yeah, but I'd like to ask a question in, yes, for sir. tonight. Um, I'm a, my, it's my understanding, and clarify this if I'm wrong, that we're on a time crunch to get this CDBG money approved tonight. Am I correct? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. CDBG, yeah. I mean, so... This is the only hearing we think it's approved. Uh, yeah, because it, and, if, and if it's not approved, it's we lose it. That's right. Thank you. Okay, but... These two things should be voted on separately. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't tie the CDBG grant the approval money. to the additional monies. Yeah. Well, I swear, if, we, if you don't mind me, and I, I agree with you until I read the bottom, and it says we're considering it. So I think it's it's fair to go ahead and make one motion and do it, because if we don't approve the budget, then of course that bottom part is, doesn't matter. I, I don't think there's a problem with approving it. I mean, if you oh, feel more comfortable with I'm not comfortable with, wait, 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 yeah. I'm not comfortable with tying non-CDBG grant money to the approval vote for the CDBG grant money. They're two separate funds. They're two separate. I don't have a problem. Would we'll, you we'll pull that and, and make it? We can motion. discuss it. We can. Yeah, I have we no have problem to. having a discussion, but I'm not in favor of approving it all under <laughs> one motion. What? The motion so. Well, but the motion mm -hmm. already relates to the community development block grant dollars. Okay. This is a statement of what I was getting as I read this bottom. It's really, it's really not part of the grant for CDBG. 
It just says in addition to the above. As long as whoever makes the motion sticks to the C makes that yeah. clear that it's just the CDBG grant. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. I think that needs to be separate anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, make it clear. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yes. make the motion. <laughs> that way we make sure it gets done right. Yeah. Or in your, in your All right. Anything else? All right. Moving along. F. Creation of Southwest Volusia Community, Community Redevelopment. Okay. Uh, this is the resolution creating it, right? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And then uh, item number, that's number F. And then G is designated city commission, which is a no-brainer. That's the board. Uh, that's the board. Mm -hmm. So neither one of those, any controversy? Okay. Uh, and then H is an uh, add-on. Uh, and I, I guess I'll give my comments during the appropriate time for that meeting. I'm not going to support this, but y'all heard, heard. But the add-on is the, is this that we got, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And those were the, the agenda memo, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And those were the items that were discussed at 30th workshop. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess because we have the time. If, if you remember, I, I thought we had agreement by the commission, but I don't think we took any kind of formal board or anything. But those items, the add-on, those items, uh, I, don't, I have no choice in the way it's set out but to, but to, uh, to vote against the entire thing because my biggest problem is with is more information on for each item. Vote on each item. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that, that's that, that's 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 that was proposed at the budget meeting Thursday. That's what that I'm we saying. do each, each one individually. That's not well, what. That's not what was here. I, I don't have a problem with voting them all up I, if if we have more discussion. Well, not all of them, but I have if there was more discussion. Now I don't know if you want to have that discussion now, if you want to have it later, or whatever you want. I mean, I, I can run down them. I didn't have a chance to really run down them all, but. That's strictly up to you. You know, on the electronic sign, we've all, all agreed, I think, yeah. haven't we, that we want to upgrade a different type than what we currently have, okay? Then there was some discussion thrown around about moving the one, and we said, no, just build a new one the right way. Uh, so, I mean, you know, if you want to take each one of them as you go, the one I'm most concerned with is public works relocation. And, and Mayor, we'll be prepared to discuss each item. Well, you're, you're talking about a, a, lot of, a lot of time if we're going to take each item, but I don't care if that's the way you want to do it. Well, I that's just think what the, the discussion should happen downstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Okay. Yeah, on each item. All right, yeah. On each and item. I think it should be on each item. Each item. Okay. okay. Then the, the, the request would be then to move on item number A, B, C, D, E, okay. as you go. Here, here's my, and I just want to bring this problem up, and this is not anything that I won't share later, but I don't want to be repetitive but my problem is that we've always as a commission agreed that once we approve the budget we approve these kind of things the staff could run with it. Right. So right. the day after we approve this staff's going to start right. spending right. money right. 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 to do yeah. some of these things. Some of these things I think there need to be more discussion of by us before staff goes off and starts spending money and doing it. And the biggest one, the one I have the most concern with is public works relocation. We're talking about moving an industrial type Away facility the into a residential area and no impact by the public. The public damn sure needs to have be aware of what we're planning on doing. It's all well and good for us to sit here and talk about it, but the public is not entered into it. Now why would we spend, whether it's ten, fifty, or a hundred thousand planning this without getting any input from the public? That's my biggest complaint about this. There is so much land up and down Holland Boulevard for sale, but I think we're looking at it the wrong way. We should look at it about where is the best place to position our public works thing if we're going to move it because of the cost involved. I understand the economic development portion of having that land, but that land is being occupied right now, and the cost to move it and the impact of that neighborhood is, you know, that's what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Vice Mayor, I'm uh, just going to say we, you know, we did have substantial discussion about that particular item already we did and i was of the opinion that the majority of the commission felt it was that was the direction we were going to go is consolidating the facilities onto that piece of property 
uh, being we already own it, and uh, making making that move and transition because it was going to be so lengthy. I think even Mr. Chancellor talked about the length of time that it was going to take for the entire process and, and what the stages uh, would be to, to make that happen. So I again I'm going. I mean you. We, we may want to, to have a specific meeting to, to discuss that. I'm not opposed to doing that, but I would like to encumber those funds now for that specific project so that when we do make a decision, the money is immediately available for Ms. Shane to take action with. So we can encumber the funds with the stipulation that we need to have an additional meeting on it. We could always release the funds later on if we don't go that direction, but I'd at least, at least like to encumber those funds now and earmark them for that specific project. Some of, your, some of your footage is going to stop. Okay. Some of your verbiage is, is fine, but the fact encumbered, I have no problem putting that money in the general, just let it go back to the general fund. With this as a project, we talked about the future. But I do not want to see us move forward and spend a dime until the public is aware of it. Those people over there, folks, the, all those big trucks, all of that truck work, that maintenance, the, f the engines running, all of that noise in a residential neighborhood is not, I don't think, going to be accepted by the public over in that area. I drove it again last week. That is a difference. The roads are going to have to be maintained. They're going to have to be changed. There are single lane roads in there. You're talking about big trucks coming in there all hours, day and night, whatever, depending on what happens. That does not seem to me to be the place. And we can all do it. But I believe, but but I believe but that's I say, what the engineering study would tell you, yeah. those things, and then we can but make the decision. why spend all the money? Because we have to have the information to make the decision of what it would take to make it palatable that, to the people that, around. That makes sense if it wasn't in a residential area. So We're talking about it. rezoning a residential area to heavy industrial, and that's a, that is that's a, that is a maintenance facility of a, of a heavy nature. We wouldn't allow it anywhere else. Just because the city's doing it doesn't make it right. But, but, I, but I'll, I'll plead my case later the same way. I'm just saying those residents deserve to have an opportunity to speak about what we're planning on doing there before. And have a, Opportunity That's to agree. But okay, so we'll talk about it. Thank you. Go ahead. You got um, the floor. And on my 90, uh, as in you, I'll save my comments for downstairs, but I'll be voting down the line. What's that? 9B. You're standing. 9B. Okay. And I'll make my comments downstairs in public. Okay. Me too. All right. Any others? Uh, Mayor? Yes, ma'am. Is it possible that we take um, 9H? During the beginning of the meeting? Um, yes. The reallocate service? Yeah. Service. Service. Yeah. Service. 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 Is that possible? That's what we were just talking about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We take That's that out of. We take it first. Why? Because staff doesn't have to stay through everything else if they did. The staff that, that um, would be here to discuss this if we needed to. There's no other items on the agenda that certain staff members so would have to be The, the recommendation for you at the beginning of the meeting would be appropriate if you want to make that recommendation in the beginning. You're going to do it at what point? Commission. Before, Before we start. We start we the the right. I'll make a recommendation or a request that we move 9-H or accelerate it. Okay. Now, this, this says this also says that immediately following this meeting, which may happen Tuesday or Wednesday, but we're going to have another meeting of the South Coast yeah, right. Redevelopment Board. Yep. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, so is there any other discussion about that? I, would be I will have a question. Do you want it now or do you want it later? You're don't already start giving us rules of the road. We'll be who we are. But we uh, we will be, be acting as redevelopment board. But 
This is just, is it just a celebratory thing? I mean, I didn't see anything here that made it. Why we're doing it? Why we are doing it? Because the state statute requires it. We're special meeting, but we're not taking any action. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You absolutely have to. Afterwards, but we're submitting the CRA to the P&Z. Yeah, and there's a motion, and it needs to pass. I have a question about that, though. Do you want it now, or do you want it later? I, I would when really appreciate that. to hear no? any questions okay, just in case I don't know the answer. I have time in between to figure it out. Okay. Question. Questions about about the recommendation? Action. Yes. Yeah, that's where you're. Okay, um, Mr. Bowley, this is probably for you, but uh, okay. we uh, adopted we adopted the CRA right several months ago. We were delegated from the county to get it. This is the adoption that you're doing. Okay, but now. we did, we sent it to the county, they approved this. Right, July 7th. Now, we're sending it, tonight we're going to, we're going to perhaps send it to B and Z. Correct. You need to. Why, process, why doesn't P and Z see it before we send it to the county? I have that answer for you. Good. Thank okay, you. Okay, so you're, you're going to be wearing two hats tonight. The first hat is going to be as a city commission. So you open the meeting as a city commission. Right. And you, you do your uh, review of the two resolutions, which first establish the agency. Right. And then you Appoint set yourself the as, your, as the board. Right. I then your that. first official action will be the, the hearing following. You're going to act as the CRA board by sending the redevelopment plan to your local planning agency, which is the PNZ, okay. for Wednesday night, this Wednesday, yes. the 17th. Mike, then, okay, go ahead. Oh, then they review it. Yes. And they specifically have to make a recommendation as to its conformity with the city's comprehensive plan for the benefit of the community as a whole to the CRA board with respect to conformity of the city's comprehensive plan and to the community redevelopment plan pursuant to Florida statutes. Okay. The specific action. That's all they're allowed to do that night. That's they're, it. They, they're not Policy. allowed to Policy. comment on, right. on the plan itself. They're going to be stopped from doing that if they want to discuss the plan itself. Correct. They're supposed to just look at the plan as it relates to the comprehensive plan and the community as a whole. So that's, that's it. They're not supposed to get into the details of the actual plan at that time. Then they make a written recommendation to you as a CRA board which then on August 22nd, you'll be accepting their recommendation as to this conformity with the comprehensive plan and the community as a whole. And they'll make, and you will make a decision as a CRA board at the August 22nd meeting. What if PNZ does not believe that it aligns with the comp plan? And what happens then? Because, you know, we've gotten emails. We, we sure. know that maybe oh, sure. everyone is in agreement. It seems to me that it makes sense, and obviously that's not the way a CRA works, but in all other times we have PNZ look at developments, whatever, and, and send a recommendation. We're kind of, this seems to be happening backwards. If they have anything to say about this. It's, it's because it's a creature of statute. We have to tick off every box. We have to do it exactly as the statute says you have to do okay, it. Okay, so where do we stand if they if they vote it down? If they if their recommendation is that it doesn't comply with the comprehensive right. plan, then you respectfully take their recommendation and do what you de deem appropriate. That's accepted. We accept it because it's given to us. But yes. You don't have to comply. You don't have to comply. agree with it. Okay. Like anything else that they do. Yes, yeah. All right. exactly. Uh, Sorry, but yeah, yeah. thank you. I, no, no, Diane, that didn't I'm make glad sense. You asked that question because that's it. What happened? Still doesn't make well, sense. Well, I guess that that kind of goes in the same question. If they have something that they do not agree with, is is there no leeway for us to make any changes, or do we have to accept make what changes. the county? It's been accepted by it's the county. Been, we so can't, there's absolutely we can't, no changes we could do. We can't cross any T. We can't okay. dot any I it, it, if it wasn't yeah, done been accepted with the, by the county. county. We can't change it, it. So we're going through, like she said, yeah. the motions of setting it up. And all they're saying is, let's go ahead and come to church. Thank you, Mayor. The reason, maybe, maybe I can clarify that. Um, the reason that it doesn't go to PNZ before it comes to us is, like Becky said, the process. But this is county money that's being given to us. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know, but for the general public. Okay. It's, it's county money that's in, given. They're giving us the increment 
that they would normally be getting if we set this as a baseline and the tax value goes up of those properties in the CRA, instead of that money going to the county, it goes to us. So they have to be the ones, they have to approve it first. It doesn't matter what P&Z says or anything else because the county has to be the one to agree that we even get it. And then we have to follow, every, like Becky said, everything by state statute, otherwise you lose it. They're very, 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 very strict on CRAs and the other, what was the other one that they were doing, the, the ones that they eliminated and sunset it? Right, oh, that's the, the other, enterprise. Yeah. Enterprise yeah. zones, that was the but same see, thing. But, but, but Heidi, in, you're right, not only states have to, have to follow that CRA agreement with the county too. They're gonna oversee that. And if we don't follow that agreement, that's where, that's where the real rubber beats the road. I mean, setting it all up is perfunctionary. We just get it done. But once we start receiving funds and those funds and how we use those funds and how we allocate that money back toward the general intent of the CRA, that's where the rub is. The county's going to watch us like a hawk. And rightly so. Yeah, they should. But it seems sure. it seems backwards, though. Well, it's just that P and Z is made up of professionals in the field. You would think before you submit a CRA that you'd want their opinion on what we put in our plan. That's the only thing I'm saying. Whether or not they have to align it with the comp plan, it seems to me that this group, in particular, of our advisory board, it's very hard. are professionals it's like in the field. Catch Twenty-two. Like, you know, we could yeah. not. We had to write the plan to get it approved by the county. In right. Other words, they but if we wrote it, in, I hear what you're saying. Just, I, I just I, I, I I think our really clarification for that. Yeah. Okay. So just administratively, yeah. the county, as your partner for the CRA, has delegated to you this redevelopment plan, you, as the right. commission, and then as the CRA agency and trust. So it has to come to you as step one before you send it to your local planning agency because they are giving it to the city's leadership. So when they give it to you, then you have to turn around and create this agency right. to operate it. And then you can, as the agency, give it to your local planning agency, in this case. But I think she's talking about the process of setting up the CRA. Right, I mean, we're talking about the round to set it all up. Sorry. It's Florida statute driven. No, 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 I'm talking about what we chose okay. as a city, the area that we chose oh, the as a city. Oh, the 266 acres? Yeah, yeah the, how we chose the city, how, yeah, that's what you're talking about, right? How we chose no, the city. No, I'm talking about the actual plan. Okay. That's that's what I mean, that's what I mean, how the we set up the CRA plan. We Go ahead, thank you. with the entire public because it's very confusing. Yes. We're going through a process to set if I the understand food, the we process. Set it up. Now we got to set it up and go through the, the procedure. And it's very yeah. Well, right. I, I thank you, Mayor. I I, no, I, I understand I the process. Back in 2007, the city took on a, an effort, um, actually even prior to that, um, looking at Deltona Boulevard as a CRA corridor. So, the redevelopment plan actually it showed the um, CRA boundary in two nodes, one linear along Deltona Boulevard and one up on Saxon in that general area. So what this CRA is, is really a reincarnation of that 2007 circa plan where it just joins the two together and it uses Normandy as the link right. between the Saxon corridor and the Deltona Boulevard corridor. Does that answer your question? That you read it a long ago. I'm not saying, I understand, I read it, believe me. It's, it's, it's not what I'm asking, but that's okay. It doesn't sound right, but we're doing it right, but it doesn't sound right. I know, I know, but I should ask this when we first were presented. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, and I sat in, what, no. I sat in some of those, they had way back at the Deltona Plaza, the very first meeting. One of the things as far as, like you're saying, I think you're trying to say is how does this get written? Our planning department, although the PNZ people were very knowledgeable, I, I mean, they spent, I credit. know, years on looking at how are they going to plan this, how are they going to write it. So it, I think we had a lot of professionals really working on this for many years. I, I, think, I think one of the things, too, that I think we should all remember is the PNZ board, is a rec they, re a recommend, they, they recommend to us. This is an advisory board. I mean, we can, right. but... There's a lot of knowledge there, a lot of expertise there. That, that uh, and then sometimes uh, all people, all of us, at times make comments that we probably wish we hadn't of the next day or whatever. That's playing out the news every day. 
But there's some comments made. I mean, there's some people with a lot of knowledge, some that are, mm -hmm. you know, not so. But in this case, uh, if you follow it along, it may not be the best way to do it, but to get it through the county and to mm -hmm. be able to have a CRA when there were none, right. they weren't going to approve anything and they're trying to cancel them all. So that was a pretty good accomplishment. Thank you. Is there anything else that anyone wants to bring up? Anybody in the public got anything they want to bring up about the meeting tonight? You know, none were adjourned until six thirty. And then after that meeting, we'll have an after that meeting, we'll have an after that meeting, we'll have